Hello everyone, I am Varadi, lecturer in Department of Radiography and Imaging Technology at SNS College of Allied Health Sciences. Today we are going to look upon a topic, High KV Technique. Move on to the introduction along with the primary settings like Q current, MAS, milliampere per second, exposure time and filtration. Q voltage, KVP is one of the primary settings that can be adjusted on X-ray machines to control the image quality and passion dose. Kilo voltage peak, KVP is the peak potential applied to the X-ray tube which accelerates electrons from the cathode to the and out. Tube voltage MA in turns determines the quantity and the KVP determines the quality of the photons generated. What is high KV technique? In selecting the KVP peak kilo voltage is ensuring adequate penetration and exposure which is depends on photon number, photon energy and tissue attenuation which depends on attenuation coefficient and thickness of the object. Particularly in large body parts like obese adults, the lower energy photons are absorbed completely within a few centimeters of the tissue without contributing to image formation but will increase the passion boost. In such conditions, higher KVP is employed to improve the X-ray intensity which improves the penetration of the photons which contributes to image formation. So that's why we are using IKV technique. In radiography, we use normally the range of kilo voltage between 50 to 120. Although KV as low as 25 KVP is used for soft tissue examinations such as mammography or nasopharynx, like this, soft tissues. When low KVP is used, the X-ray beam penetration is decreased resulting in more absorption and less transmission. But when applying the high KVP technique with the range of 120 KVP, which increases the penetration, which are used in chest radiography and abdomen radiography, etc. When increasing the KVP, like 120 to 150 KVP range, which increases the density of the X-ray beam, which results in decreases contrast because of the X-ray penetration is higher. But in decreased KVP, which results in decreases density, which results in increased contrast and also increases the passion dose. So that's why we are using high KVP technique. Let's see the difference between high KVP technique and low KVP. In high KVP technique, which produces more number of X-rays compared to low KVP technique. The high KVP technique having higher penetration power, but the low KVP have the lesser penetration power. It, the KVP which is higher will produce more scatter radiation, but the low KVP produces lesser scatter radiation. The high KV technique produces more gray, but the low KVP technique produces black and white, narrow latitude. The higher KVP technique produces higher contrast and the lower KVP technique produces lower contrast. When higher KVP technique is used, which increases in density, but the low KVP technique decreases in density. The long scale and a little difference in adjacent structures is produced. The lower KVP have a short scale and greater difference in adjacent structures is shown.